What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna take a look at something very unique and unlike anything I've ever showed off before. This is actually a PC and a speaker built into one. It's the HP Wave, obviously a very small and compact PC at that. And I'm sure it's like first glance looking at it, you probably thought it was just a giant Bluetooth speaker or something. But it's actually a full-blown PC here. It's just so different than anything I've seen before. And it obviously kind of resembles something like the Mac Pro or, you know, the famous trash can that they have. This obviously not circular, more triangular. And that built-in speaker with the partnership of B&O really adds a lot to this overall form factor. At just around 9 inches, I have never seen a PC look this good and so compact. Now taking a look at it, one thing I'm really a big fan of is this kind of charcoal woven fabric that is wrapped around it. I love this choice because it's very neutral and modern and you can put this anywhere, whether it's on your desk setup or in an office setting, even in your living room. And since it is so small, it's just going to look nice and it's going to look more like an accessory, not necessarily a PC. Now on the back, you have the power button, so keep that in mind. Wherever you put this, you're going to need access to the back to power it on and off. You have a built-in SD card reader, a USB-C port, two USB 3.0s, your Ethernet port. For connectivity, you have DisplayPort and HDMI. And all the way on the bottom is the power port. And then for the front I.O., on the bottom, all we have is a headphone jack and a USB slot. Now, quick note, since we have limited access to the USB slots, this is mainly designed to be used with wireless or Bluetooth peripherals. And actually inside the box, they do include their very own uh, wireless mouse and keyboard. And if I had to say, I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. It's really nice looking. They remind me a lot of the Apple Magic Mouse and Apple Magic Keyboard, but a nice you know, like black slate version. And it pairs very well with this. Now, if you choose to use a wired mouse and keyboard, you only have access to one more USB slot, so keep that limitation in mind. I feel like that front USB slot is mainly made for plugging in something like a flash drive. And before we talk about the built-in speaker here, first off, let's take this apart. And they actually do a pretty good job of keeping it locked down so you don't go in and tamper with it. On the bottom, underneath the rubber feet, they come off and there are three screws. You can then lift up the base from there take off the fabric and you will now have access to the internals kind of but you can now see just how compact this is and the fact they fit all these components into this very small triangular shape also to keep its footprint down the power supply is external so like a laptop you'll have a huge external power brick to power this thing up now if we're talking specs what's inside here is an intel i5 6400t processor we have 8 gigs of ram a 1 terabyte hard drive and an amd r9 m470 graphics card now prior to your purchase you can go in and select different components and stuff for a different price point for all that's included here for around 600 dollars it's surprisingly powerful but now this is not meant to be upgraded or modded on your own. They lock all the components down in that sort of little chassis there. And I didn't want to go in and mess around with the components any further. So keep in mind, this is not meant to be manually upgraded. But now let's talk about that speaker since it is a two-in-one PC and speaker. HP partnered with B&O for the audio here to kind of design this. And it's actually pretty cool. As you can see on top, the Wave has this sort of cone. It's known as a parabolic reflector. And that has this special surface or coating to it that lets the driver inside power the music upward that's then going to hit that cone, reflect out in a full 360 degree pattern to deliver audio around your room. Now as for audio quality, I'll be the first to say that I was not overly impressed. Um, it does get very loud, so it's definitely going to be able to fill your room or even like a larger living room, so there's no problems there. And where the speaker kind of, you know, performs best is in the mids or the highs. I would say overall it has a sort of cool sound signature. I'm more of a, uh, I favor warm tones more likely myself. Uh, but if we're talking bass here, the HP Wave had zero bass. And when I mean zero, I'm talking there's probably negative bass when it comes to this. So do not buy this if you're expecting to, you know, bump some rap and stuff like that or hip hop throughout the day. No bass at all here, but for like things like playing games and stuff, um, it was just fine. Listening to music overall was okay, but I was kind of expecting more. Might be pointless to do since you're going to be hearing a compressed recording from my microphone, but here's a sound test. And then just for fun, I downloaded Steam and got some games on this to see how it performed when gaming. 
or if it was even capable. For GTA 5 at 3440 by 1440p on high preset with like soft shadows and stuff like that, we got 15.8 frames per second. Then at 1080p with the high preset again, we got around 34.1 FPS. In a game like Counter-Strike GO at 3440 by 1440p, we got 36 frames per second. And then at 1080, we got 74 frames. Now to really test it, I downloaded a game like Ash of the Singularity to see what it's capable of. And it flat out told me that your PC cannot run this game and the game didn't work at all. Which is gonna lead me into my next point. This is obviously not meant for gamers and it's not meant for power users. However, with the components, it is capable of handling two 4K monitors. So this is in your office setting, like I said, and you have two 4K monitors side by side and you're doing things, having like spreadsheets up there, social media, different websites, whatever your line of work is, that is fine, but it is not meant at all for power users. And one area I see this really flourishing in is in the home setting, where this could be replacing the old big and bulky family PC. Just a new and modern approach at that where you know your kids can go on, write some school papers, whatever, use this as a home entertainment PC with that built-in speaker. And that's where I see the HP Wave really making a, uh, in, a new footprint in the market because having that built-in speaker means that having an additional pair of desktop speakers won't be necessary unless you need them or you're an audiophile. And this does get loud enough to fill a room. And I have to say, I'm definitely liking what HP is doing here, making a very small, compact PC that looks as nice as this that can fit in with any neutral setting. Now, if I wanted to bring up some quick pros and cons, overall, for the price, the performance here you're getting, I think, is very, very good. And the fact that it can run two 4K monitors is great for just around $600. Again, most games you're not going to want to play, but it can handle a few. Small form factor, great built-in audio, awesome. Uh, but the two cons I wanted to point out, which um, I think are worth mentioning, is one, the lack and limitations of only the three USB ports. So you can't, you know, have a separate uh, mouse and keyboard plugged in on the front and have to be in the back and then you're limited there. It's just the spacing and stuff. So definitely made more for wireless peripherals. And secondly, which I thought was pretty odd was uh, seeing that it is a speaker, you actually can't use this as a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, so say you have like, you know, Spotify on your phone, you can't pair it to this and then play it. It's mainly made as a speaker for this PC itself, nothing else. So I just wanted to get this video out there because it's just such a unique and interesting PC, unlike anything I've seen in the HP Wave. And the long lasting impression it's gonna leave with me is gonna be its appearance and the visual aesthetic paired with its overall form factor. I love the way it looks. This can definitely replace your office or your home family PC. So that'll do it guys for my review and first look of the HP Wave, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. Lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. While well, I'm RandomFrankP, hope you enjoyed, have a good day.